okay so this is an introduction video for QJS so this is the application it has the menu options here on top it has the map canvas here in the middle and the layer panel on the left so actually upon opening a GeoJSON file you, you have two options you either go to layer add layer add vector layer so looking at all these options they are also available here on the left so for my case i'll go to the basic which is add layer layer add layer then add vector layer so you also have this make sure it is on vector because you have chosen this is a vector the vector layer is the one which has x y and z keep everything by default make sure this is automatic it will choose along then the source this is where you browse for your data In my case i'll browse I'll select this market Karantaka road geojson and I'll open it and I'll click add mind you this doesn't get off you'll know that this is all I did until you find the road here on the left that means I'll close then it appears here so sometimes you prefer to visualize this road so as to have a good look of it you can always click this and right click properties or you can always double click like this so upon double clicking is you have information source symbology labels you have varieties of options so by default it goes to symbology this is where you choose the color you can always go for the color for instance you can go for green maybe then the width this is the thickness you can always increase as you can see it is also increases here or you can also go for variety of default options which are here so upon clicking ok the line actually the road changes thickness now you can always cross check where this road is you can always have coordinate here 28 and 15 negative 15 this means south of equator so it is negative 15 you know the equator passes from uganda all the way to kenya all the way to congo so you know negative 15 that means you are 15 degrees from the equator 28 this is longitude that means from accra ghana to Greenwich in UK all the way to 28 it is positive because it is east negative because it is south so you can always cross check this by adding Google satellite image here I have this I'll show you how we keep this by default you can always take this and drag it so but upon dragging it actually you might find oh I can't see the road here this is because the Google satellite this is like the earth is on top of the road so you always have to do this by dragging so that means the road comes on top of the Google satellite image. So you can always zoom now because you are in Chongwe, you know this is in Chongwe, but you can always zoom out and know this, uh, this it is. See, it is somewhere here. So it gets all the way to here because it's because of the latitude and longitude. And we also have scale. This is the zooming scale, magnifier. You can always rotate, for instance, if we prefer to rotate for better working. See, you can keep it by default to zero. You have this, this is the projection is WGA 34 which is World Geodetic System of European Petroleum Survey Group this comes by default so you can always right click again we have varieties of options so this properties we have covered this styles this is if you have default styles you have them you can always put export this is where you save that feature layer CRS this is all about coordinate reference system as I was talking about the default is this one then you can go to attribute table this is the database toggle editing this is the most important one it is for editing then zoom to layer this is what i'm interested that you can always zoom to the layer where your rod is that means it gets you to where your rod is so you can always zoom by using mouse plus and minus or you can always zoom from here in the menu panel like this you select and then you select where you want to zoom so good enough actually had had edited already this road so you can always like this set it up so this is market can and tap a road so in order to edit this you have to know that you will always have to turn on the pencil pencil is used as editing mode in QJS so where do you get that pencil there are two options is either you go for this actually it's written dog editing or right click get it over here so upon clicking toggle editing you have some marks here see it is in editable mode you can have a look at it actually you don't have a get a visual but after right after clicking toggle editing there is this options here vertex tool we have vertex vertex these are like nodes for instance if you can if you remember that when you are tracking using a gps or a mobile phone 
you have these points which are always generated automatically so these are called vertex or nodes so you can always click vertex in the current layer or all layer this is why you get them you see when you just try to select it's like an addition where you get so this you can always move it for instance you can keep the road here depends where the path is so for instance you can keep it there or you can keep it here this looks like an open space but you can always undo here your undo button that means if it was really correct then you can always try to keep it this way so the unlucky enough we have only one road so imagine if you had many roads so you could always open if you want to create a, like a curve you can always double click here and try to create something like this you are trying to introduce a node so to create a better curve same applies you can always maybe let's select random place here yeah make sure your internet is also good see for instance this road you can always put it in the center line right after field that means it gives you a better issue for instance i want to get a corner here i'll just do this i'll double click here i establish a node or a vertex double click here again see i can also double click here double click here so it's the issue of digitizing and cleaning the road say double clicking here double clicking here so you, you end up cleaning all the road actually after site data collection you see here i can keep it like try to make a good curve here and move this here you see so all these options are available in our QGIS, and you can always if you want to go in, in details with the settings you can always go here for better editing settings options so this is where you get the options of editing. Let us wait for it. it. Takes time. You see, yeah, you have to go to digitizing. You have general system. This is the entire settings of QJS. But the the thing which you are doing here is digitizing. So you need to click digitizing. And starting from here, this validate geometry. This should be by default QJS. Actually, in rubber band, you see the line color. If you if you remember when we are doing this, the line color shows is red. So you can always change. You can always change if it's another color. <laughs> And enable snapping by default. This is like AutoCAD. You can snap. If you have many rows, you can snap point by point by vertex by segment, just like that. And you can add defaulting snapping tolerance. For instance, if you have two roads, it automatically joins to another road. So you can reduce it. Maybe you're gonna either put pixel or map units. By default, it's pixel. Uh, so you can you can you can you can reduce it by just doing that way. You can just doing it by that way. So these are all the things which can be actually uh, available in the options so this is it so it's okay yeah okay this you know this is just a uh, some error code during installation so this is the way of doing it so this is how you clean a road right after site so you can always cross check by having google satellite and mind you you have different satellite images of course i prefer the google one because it uh, it shows the road is this is graph or this is paved but you can also have different options for instance open strip map you can put it here and you can always you see it gives you detail then you can always turn this off open strip map is there it gives you this is the great east road this is the chongwe river it gives all the details so it depends on what detail of editing you are interested to so this is it so after you're done with all the edits mind you the pencil is still here on that means you're required to Click on the pencil here, or you can always click and click this pencil to ask you, do you want to save the changes to the air market? Say yes, then it is saved. So you are ready to go. Your GeoJSON road file is ready for upload.